Hello, good morning and uh, welcome to the channel. It's Saturday, 23rd March and it's a special day today in Tasmania in Hobart. We're going to vote in our state election. So it's a voting day today, a decision time. Look at the beautiful Hobart this morning. We can't stop and record this beautiful view of Hobart on our way to St. George's Church. And we can see that bell tower there. That's going to be our election center, polling station, where we're going to vote today. In my background, we have St. George's Church. It's an Anglican church, and it's probably one of the oldest church in Australia, built in 1838. This is historic battery point and uh, horse carriage in battery point on an election day makes it looks like that we are in 1838. Look at this church. It's so beautiful. And obviously it's in battery point, very close to our home. And when this landmark was established and built in 1838, it was the only prominent landmark for the passing by ships on the Darwin River coming to Hobart Port and other directions and today it is standing nearly 200 years old. Voting in Australia is so different from voting in India that we used to and uh, we used to queue for like four or five hours before we could cast our vote but here it is quite different it is pretty empty. Just adjacent to the church we have this voting center and it's a tradition that there will be some sausage on offer it's called uh, democracy sausage and we buy sausage while we vote and that's a tradition and there are some bookstores secondhand books getting sold so it's more of like a festive thing than any other thing it's a very serious business but we always enjoy voting in australia so this was the polling station and I've just voted. Obviously, I'm not going to discuss who I voted for, but it's a very tradition that uh, we come and vote and it's a compulsory voting in Australia. If you don't vote, then you'll get fined heavily. I don't know whether it's heavily, but there is a significant fine that you need to pay if you don't vote. So it's a compulsory voting in Australia. But look at the site. I mean, obviously it's a very historic site. It's it's a charge that we vote and it looks stunning and I'm going to buy democracy sausage and I'm trying that sausage very soon they're also selling some second-hand books and uh, obviously and then the sausage so how was the voting and I had to find out the names of the candidates because it was quite a big ballot paper big list Hey, how you going? Yes, how would you like your bread? You've got wholemeal, white, or party bread, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, 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 that's basically the Aussie bread. <laughs> Why is it called democracy sausage? Oh. I know democracy and I know the sausage. Yeah, yeah, well, it's kind of a tradition that you have a sausage sizzle, usually to like, raise money for something locally at the polling booth. Well, so it's an association of democracy sausage, yeah. Yeah. Uh, just the one? Just one, yeah. And with onion as well? Yeah, with onion. So we've, uh, it's $3. Yep. And we've got it set on the pet. Do you have a credit card? You can do it on the pet and go. So we do also have veggie patties. Do you, do you oh, want yeah, one? Oh, yeah, yeah, I love veggie one. Patty? Yeah. Yeah. Veggie patty? Yeah. Veggie patty. One more. So we've got multi grain, white, or wholemeal? Multi grain. So Orima is having a vegetable sausage as well, vegetable patty, and so we are having both having like democracy something to eat on the polling day. This is a veggie patty for Orunima, and uh, yeah, so I thought that I'm going to only myself having democracy sausage, but Orunima also have a veggie options. This is a progression because we never had this before, right? I think the number of vegetarians have grown over the years. So. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's a big policy or policy for the for the election as well. So you need to serve something veggie or vegan. <laughs> so that was uh, very interesting, and uh, we had a lovely time. Obviously, we voted, 
and I'm going to try this sausage and yeah so I'll enjoy oh yeah it's fantastic um this freshly barbecued sausage you can't beat that it's a pork sausage with white bread and onions so it's a very nice way of voting it's so different from what we used to have experience when we voted in India we and used in the to, UK as well. And in the UK, you didn't queue. We didn't queue for that long. But, but there was no sausage. There was no sausage in England elections. Yeah. Mm. But in India, there was no sausage either. Mm -hmm. But we have to queue for four or five hours at least, and there will be millions of people queuing for the whole day. But here, it's a more of a celebration, and yeah, celebration of democracy, I would say. So, Arunima, how was the veggie patty? It was nice, nicely done and crunchy. I think mostly potatoes inside. Okay, right. And we are at the very historic site here at St. George's Church. It's an Anglican church. Look at the church, how beautiful is it? It was built in 1838 and the architect was John Lee Archer. And he was a renowned architect that time, uh, a British architect who had a notable work, uh, including Tasmanian Parliament, sandstone building. And that bell tower on top of this church was designed by James Blackburn later on.